What's up? Welcome to Into the Lair. Thank you so much for all the comments, suggestions, criticisms, everything that you sent about the first Into the Lair segment. We listen. I read them all. As long as there's uh, this many or more each week, I, I give you my word, I'll read every one, and no matter how many they get, I'll make an effort to read every one. Today, as promised, we're talking about stereo bus compression. If you hear me say two bus, that, I use that phrase interchangeably with a two bus. We're going to break it down into about three general areas. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over first why we even need compressors on the stereo bus. Then I'm going to tell you a little bit about what to listen for when you do implement a compressor on the stereo bus and then I'm going to tell you how I do it I'm going to tell you how some of my friends do it don't tell them I told you those things and then I'm, I'm going to show you a couple of examples with plugins and uh, the real world so let's jump right into it I'm making this up as I go along so if any of this is not true just save the ink and bandwidth it's just stuff I make up I'm guessing that we probably started seeing a need for compressors early on back during the days of mono radio when everybody wanted to have the strongest signal possible and they used a compressor or a limiter and I'll explain the difference to make sure that the radio signal didn't give a, get above a certain level the transmitters in the radio stations I grew up in a radio station uh, I didn't grow up in it but I visited my uncle's radio station a lot um, when they get past a certain level they start distorting so to, to keep your level as loud as possible if you ever wondered why commercials were louder than the show the, the main reason is those guys have some incredible compressors and what they're able to do is get the level of the of the of, of everything just maxed out I have a compressor over here in a minute Zan might show it to you it's a it's a gates stay level uh, that's straight out of an old radio station. All right, let's jump into the into the, um, the 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 what to listen for, and I'll, I'll go a little more into detail as to the why. Basically, what we're trying to do is compress a broad amount of information, volume information, level, dynamic information into a smaller. Think of it as into a smaller space, so that we can give the listener the impression that everything is louder, bigger, fatter, more batteries with a pH. One of the things that, 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 that you will find on most limiters uh, uh, and compressors is the ratio knob. Now some are preset like the LA2A, the gates I spoke about earlier, uh, L1, that kind of by waves plug-in. But when you get past 20 to 1 ratio that's usually the classic definition of limiting. So a limiter is a compressor that's set 20 to 1 ratio or higher. Now, if you don't understand ratio and things like that, if you want me to go back and do a basic about the basic things, let me know. I'll go back and do that. This is my default setting that I bring up in Pro Tools. This was, uh, this was given to me by Tal Hertzberg, really, really good engineer. You see him with a lot of credits everywhere. Uh, I very rarely leave it this way because everything's different. So we need to, um, we need to make some alterations usually. But this is the start. You can see this. Okay, let me let me show you a little bit of how that sounds. Okay, we started with a pretty low signal level, but you can still get the idea. I like to knock off right in here I like to knock off around 3 dB and then just just grab this down this is uh, sometimes I use the the automatic release and then sometimes I, I uh, set it manually um, but that gives you an idea of basically how I use it obviously what you want to do is when you when you put compression on your stereo bus you want to you want to see the before and after you want to hear the before and after and then you make a comparison or a judgment call which sounds better. For years I would take the compressor off and like it better without it. And then I started realizing that well let's make this a, a fair test so you have to turn and and make up the amount of gain that you lose the same amount that you reduce those peaks you have to make that up with the gain control. That's why every compressor has a gain control and then you can more accurately get an AB. 
I'm gonna show you what I mean by makeup gain. Like, like as, as I compress more, I lose a little volume. So now, see, I'm losing volume. So now we're gonna make up that volume with the output gain. There we go. Another reason that we would we would we would use it is sometimes compression can be thought of not as a, a tool but as an effect. Sometimes you might want uh, in dance music we, we use compression to kind of enhance some of the pumping elements. On stereo bus compression, less is more. Uh, several of my good friends uh, I just spoke to recently about getting some information because uh, I wanted to give you up-to-date information and pretty much to a person from Chris Lord Algae to Jason Joshua, everybody mostly said the same thing. Just kind of kiss the needle. Just let it move the smallest amount possible. Less is more when it comes to the stereo bus. Uh, but a little, a little trick, uh, when you're trying to figure out the release time, crank the threshold down stupid and then you can hear it pumping like, like we're about to show you pumping in a minute. And when it's pumping, you can set the timing to where the release sounds like in time and then let the threshold come back up to where you're just barely kissing it. And that'll help you set the timing. Neat little trick. Got a gift for you, Dave. What? Sebastian. Sebastian, what's up? Come on, buddy. Come on in. How you doing, man? Guys, this is my friend Sebastian. How you doing? I just yeah. finished, uh, can I say? Yeah, of course. I just finished Gloria Trevi, Paulina, Ru Paulina Rubio with Sebastian. Be looking for that at your record store real, real soon. Do you have a release date, Sebastian? Um, probably March. The single is out right now, but March, I think, is the, the release for the album. Great. Man, thank yeah. you so much for stopping by. Yeah, man, yeah. All right, man. Just wanted to thank you for everything, and, uh, you know, we'll be talking soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Thank you. Hey guys, what can I say? I got that Ace Production staff. I'd like you to meet uh, Zan Nakari, who's my right hand man. He's really, really helping us a lot. If you ever see him out on the street and want me to do a show on something, I, I, I trust Zan's instincts about what to do. Drew Adams, my assistant here at Larrabee, um, I trust Drew also. Drew's turning out to be one of my favorites, and he's giving us a hand today. Hey, Drew, that was real slick walking in front of the camera, but. It, <laughs> I was trying to find ways to stay off camera as much as possible. That's as good a way as any. So let's get back to this. Uh, if you see your like if things like your snare start changing, you might want to increase your attack time. In other words, you let a few more of the transients through before the compressor compressor's threshold catches the signal and brings it down by the amount half the amount of the ratio that you set at. I don't know if half's the right term, but a two to one brings it down one dB for every two dB above threshold. So look look that stuff up. That's that's kind of mundane stuff. You can find that anywhere on the internet. I have a limited amount of time, and I want to get you as much information as possible today. If, if you want details, let me know. I'll, I'll go into details about specific things. Now, um, so we've covered loss of transients, pumping. Um, Sometimes you'll find that when you add compression, you, you lose a little bit of the low end. I haven't done any experiments, but I got a feeling that you're not really losing low end as much as you're gaining top end. Guys, listen, look, I know I'm all over the place today. I tried to pack as much in as I can. I'm listening to you. When you tell me you want more meat, I heard you. I'm trying to do it within the framework I've got. Also, too, I want to point out to you some sources of information. Michael Brower's website, I learned a lot. Going, by, going to that website recently in the last year or two. Go check that website, follow some of the links, read some of what Michael says. I think he really understands compression. Um, some records to listen to. Um, check out uh, Manny American. I love the way he, he, Manny uses compressors, compressors in a very musical way on his stereo bus. Jack Joseph Puig, very musical. Uh, Chris Lord Alge, you, you got to check what Chris does. He's the master of, of compression on every usage of it that there is. Um, Jason Joshua, I love what Jason's doing, very musical. Um, he's, he's the new kid on the block and uh, he's using compressors in a, in, a, in a really nice way. And like I mentioned earlier, I like what Serban does on uh, uh, Dynamite. Check that out. Really good stuff. So. Listen, thank you so much, 